The Royal Flying Doctor Service knows how hard it is to treat a stroke in the bush. Many strokes require clot-busting medication, but you can't give that medication until you've had a CT scan. And CT scanners don't grow on trees. In central Australia, there's around one CT scanner for half a million square kilometres. And so this is a crucial need. But this machine could change that. It's being developed by Adelaide-based company MicroX. A normal CT machine is going to cost three quarters of a million dollars. We can work at a, at a tenth of the cost of that. The normal ones will weigh 700 kilograms. Uh, this thing here is going to be 30 which is light enough we can put it certainly in, a, in an ambulance but, but in an RFDS aeroplane. Today the company got an $8 million grant from the federal government to further develop its technology. It's kind of like uh, an incandescent light bulb becoming an LED light bulb. It's hoped the units will help communities underserved by the health system. It can probably support a lot of the country hospitals. Um, we've got about 140 ambulance sites around South Australia. Um, those sites have got an ambulance. Um, there may not be a medical facility. The technology will continue to be developed ahead of patient trials planned for 2023. Gabriella Marchant, ABC News, Adelaide.